Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and I am back once again talking about Telcoin. Remember, nothing I say is financial advice, and you should always do your own research. And thank you to those once again who like my videos, share my videos, who leave comments, and those who have subscribed to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, if you could hit that subscribe button for me, I would appreciate it. So what we want to kind of talk about today is first, we want to look at Telcoin's price. You know, at the moment, Telcoin's price, it is what it is. We're up 2.74% on the day. You know, during this bear market, we have seen some downward trend, as many of you are aware. But the value is not now but the value would be in the future and that's what many of us that hold tailcoin are looking at what could potentially be the future value of tailcoin and we want to kind of talk about the recent developments of tailcoin and what they are doing so for me what i did is i just kind of threw the latest community update into chat gpt to give us a quick summary of kind of what's going on and as you can see, Telcoin has made several significant updates and announcements. Expanded token availability. So this is huge. For us to just be kind of going about our everyday thing and then boom, out of nowhere, Telcoin basically states, okay, we have increased the number of supported digital assets from 28 to 110. And that is vital, right? That is vital to the expansion of the app. Because you want to have more cryptocurrencies, be able to trade more cryptocurrencies and create a use case of why people should use Tailcoin and kind of use the Tailcoin app. But this is awesome news to kind of have with the Tailcoin app. And for those who are visual people, let's see if we can go to the latest article. And this kind of gives you kind of a, a visual, you know, kind of look at all of the assets. But again, you know, Aletheia AI, that's a, a nice one that I'm kind of looking at because it does that character GPT type of stuff. And I have created character GPT through Aletheia AI. So this is fascinating that they added this asset. Makers, again, Makers is a good one. It's kind of been in the app for a while. Ave, looks like they uh, ApeCoin. They added that. And, you know, just a host of other Sandbox. Again, that's a new one. But just a host of other assets in here and stable coins that will make it kind of more attractive to use. And then kind of going back, so version 3.7 of the Telcoin app brings a fresh user interface with features like a bottom navigation bar, market view for live price action, and the ability to display wallet address and deposit QR code. So again, they are building in the bear market. So again, for those people that are kind of visual, you know, Telcoin is just doing their thing, right? They're, they're continuing to build, making improvements and updates to the app and, you know, just kind of going for there. So it's the, you know, kind of the, you can kind of scan the QR code there and, you know, deposit your assets. But, you know, a nice clean look and, and nice added feature to kind of have that update with the market fluctuation. Because a lot of people like to see that. So it's a simple and it's a clean app. And I like, you know, again, what they're doing. And then here, expanded DeFi order routing. So Telcoin is focused on improving liquidity and pricing for its DeFi token offering by integrating additional routing platforms, enhancing the overall user experience. So again, making sure that the app is it's stable, making sure that the 
transactions within the app, whether you're trading, whether you're sending remittance transfer payments, whether that is kind of done in a quickly manner. So this is all things that you need to do when you're expanding and, and building out your app and expanding to into different countries. This is kind of what you want to do. You want to be able to make sure that there's no downtime with your app. So they're doing all the necessary things that they need to do uh, with the app. But again, doing things like improving liquidity, you know, and then, you know, enhancing the overall user experience. And then Telcoin is rolling out digital asset on and off ramp capabilities in various EU countries, providing greater access and utility for users in the European market. So again, you want to have an easy on and off ramp, whether you have, you know, your bank account attached, whether you have your debit card attached, different ways to kind of, you know, deposit into the app and then extract those funds or withdraw those funds from the app. So that is vital. And then with Telcoin, looks like they're going to be at the GSMA King Gali sponsorship. Kigali sponsorship. So Telcoin will be sponsoring the GSMA MWC Kigali conference in October, focusing on fintech expansion in Africa. So with Telcoin, they're trying to expand into Africa, get a footprint in there because, you know, their sole mission is to bank the unbank, get the app as in many mobile phones as possible and you know again people in africa are looking to use an app where they can send send and receive remittance transfer for payments and pay like a low fee and also you know again the trading fees within the app are really low but with telcoin it's kind of like you the app has to be out there to the point where people say, I have to use it. So that's the point of, you know, where Telcoin would need to get far as like adoption of the app, but they are doing some necessary things. And then Telcoin kind of goes on to say in their latest announcement that they have a help support. So Telcoin has a customer service account on Twitter at Telcoin help, and they can help you with any technical issues you're having you're you're having with your app whether you can't log into your app or something else is kind of going on with your app and then they have an announcement here of some recent members added to the team so welcome these new members to the team patrick gerhardt looks like he's a president of nebraska banking operations Cigar, head of compliance, and then let's say Jesus, a senior DevOps engineer, and then Akio as a web developer. So, you know, these are the kind of some of the things that you want to see. What's happening? They are making the app, they're expanding the functionality within the app. You can trade more crypto. They are updating the version of the app you know giving it a fresher clean interface that's important you know people like to see like the little nice adjustments to the app you know again doing all the necessary updates in europe you know they're doing sponsorships to kind of get their name out there and then telcoin they also did a they got a Medium article up on Yahoo Finance on September 13th. So again, this is for, this is communication for, with regards to Telcoin, you know, how they are attempting to try to market. They're putting articles out there. You know, they did updates on their Twitter here. Another thing that Telcoin would need to do far as like continue to hammer the point that it's a assisted self-custody application so meaning 
you know, there's not going to be like any type of FTX situation where people lose custody of all their assets or Celsius or Voyager. This is a DeFi exchange and they need to kind of play to that. Why should we be using your app? Well, it's it's assisted self-custody, meaning you have that one-to-one, you know, custody of your your assets. You're not going to run into a situation like FTX, uh, Voyager, and Celsius. So they need to kind of play to that, in my opinion. So, you know, that's that's pretty much, you know, kind of the, the short and sweet of what's going on with Tailcoin. You know, like we mentioned before, there's been a lot in the works this year, expanding in Europe, you know, and you know, the different conferences that they went through throughout the year. So there's more to come, you know, what do we expect? We expect at the end of the year, maybe there could be a possibility where maybe they make that official announcement of being a digital asset bank. That could happen potentially, you know, who knows, or maybe further expansion into Europe. That would be kind of nice to see the further expansion into Europe. So they're so in short, Telcoin is pretty much they're laying the foundation. They're laying the foundation now for a better future. So again, like I've I've mentioned for me, you know, I can be patient with this investment because I, we don't know what the future holds. So let's, for me, I'm just, I'm holding my assets. And then, you know, if I want to DCA at certain points, I'll DCA. But in preparation for that, you know, 2025 bull run. So I, I, I with this investment, I totally have patience. I'm not worried about it. Wind moon tomorrow. Now, if wind moon happens tomorrow, you know, heck, all of us will be happy. But there are a lot of Tailcoin investors, like I mentioned on my previous video, that have significant bags of Tailcoin. I mean, heavy bags of Tailcoin. Because they feel that this could be like a undervalued company and could be a big deal in the future. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to come on real quick and kind of talk, talk about Telcoin's expansion and how happy I am about that and how the team has executed on something and it just brought out of nowhere. Boom. Right then and there, we've added more assets and it'll be interesting to see how many more assets they add in the future and what additional value they can bring to the Telcoin token itself. Potentially being kind of that median exchange that everybody wants to to exchange in the future. So who knows what'll happen, but exciting times are ahead. So thanks everybody for listening and uh, thanks for stopping by.